Joan, your life has been a shining star in the vast galaxy of wisdom and creativity. As you've navigated the world, you've brought light to those around you. From the plains of Africa to the shores of Guyana, your journey has been one of exploration, learning, and deep understanding. Each new experience has shaped you into the beautiful, wise soul you are today. Through your study of the stars, you have understood that life is a journey guided by wisdom and intention. Your affirmations remind us of the power we hold to shape our destiny. As you often say, each one, teach one. Your wisdom lights the path for others to follow. Your words remind us to embrace our uniqueness, to follow our heart, and to stand strong in the face of challenges. You, Joan, are a beacon of truth, teaching us all to trust our journey. Joan, your creativity, wisdom, and warmth have touched so many lives, mine included. Today, I celebrate you. We celebrate you. Your journey, your passion, and the incredible light you bring to this world. Thank you for being the inspiration you are, a true artist in life and spirit. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Joan. Here's to many, many more years of creativity, exploration, and joy.
Majesty, Sussex Report. I'm Antonio. Welcome. Thank you for spending some of your valuable time with us today. I honestly appreciate it. So, Joan, I hope you've had the most fantastic, fantastic birthday. Um, I hope you have celebrated you or they have celebrated you or spoiled you. And if no one spoiled you, I hope you spoiled yourself because birthdays are such a delicious blessing to have. And if there aren't people who are gonna celebrate us and spoil us, then we should celebrate ourselves and spoil ourselves. Have that day where you just do all the things you want to do and, and, and be in gratitude that, you know, we're able to celebrate another, um, what did they say? Another um, journey around the sun or something like that. But what an incredible... Absolutely, indeed, it's an absolute blessing to to have a birthday, and um, one should always celebrate it, no matter what, because it's 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 a great thing. It's an absolute great thing. I hope Joan doesn't mind. Just wanted to tell you folks a quick little background story about um, Joan. When I started this channel, I, I, I you know anything one starts at the beginning, unless you you're uber confident in what you're going to do or you, you you're this great expert or your confidence is so like you know um uh, built into you uh starting new things always there's excitement and there's also you know nervousness around the whole thing so i was i was just freaking out when i when i decided to start the channel and i would say maybe three episodes or so in i received an email from an email from Joan and I was number one first I was worried because I was like oh oh did I do something wrong and secondly once I started to read the email I was like oh yay I got an email and she introduced herself she was extremely kind and wonderful she welcomed me um, to the space and said it's great to have another Sussex friendly channel it's great to have uh, here another male a male voice because there aren't many you know, and I, I was like, well, I don't, I'm not sure if we can categorize my voice as a male voice. It's it's a voice, but it goes up, down, sideways, all over the place every so often. So I, uh, and she she sort of was was great, very gracious, very wonderful, but also laid down the law a little bit. Um, she said, you know, I'm watching, and she said some because some 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 channels, you know, show up and then they last a month or two or three and then they disappear or some people start their channel and then as, as Sussex friendly and then they become like haters so I was like well that's not going to be me and uh, we you know we exchange um, emails and then by I think a month or so or a little bit yeah perhaps a, 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 or two months I got another email and she just was wonderful with encouragement and so gracious. And there, there was like some questions that I had because things were not going all that great. They were going okay, but not that great. And partially because I was quite naive in thinking that people who have sewed or weaved in this hate for Meghan Markle and disdain for Harry in their narrative because it suits them that somehow I was going to be able to convince them otherwise and have a proper conversation and because I, I thought look I, I, I've got the receipts Every, anything they can throw at me I, I can show them that their, their, their thought their opinion is actually wrong and the opinion that they hold is that of a created fantasy by the British tabloid media and um by the by the palace i thought i was going to be able to do that i soon realized that that's not the case and had to come to terms with some people like feeling what they feel and do what they're doing because that's what they know they don't want to be convinced otherwise right it's like people who will vote for that orange person or people who are on the don't get that when when you have two very 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 different realities presented in front of you 
Anyways, um, by the third, I got a third email and that third email was, was more like, okay, you've passed my test. Um, you've been here now for, for a little while. I think it was a, a, a few months. And she was so great. She's like, I love the way you present in things. It's so creative and different. And uh, she gave me such encouragement. She goes, don't stop. Like, because I think she knew also I was getting criticized, like mercifully. Like you talk too much, you 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 you, you talk weird, or or why why are why are your intros so long? Just get to the point. Listen, I never get to the point, okay? <laughs> Especially when I'm like freestyling, like I'm freestyling right now. That's why I started actually scripting everything. So I I, I do my best to script most of what I'm going to say. It also helps me a lot with the editing because when I when I stammer or or or. Ugh. Every time I talk about it, it happens. Um, okay, so she was just great. And and throughout, we're heading into our first year um, anniversary of the channel. Throughout, there 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 have been some bumpy situations, and I've consulted with her, and she's given me some of the most wonderful and wise advice. But above it all, <sighs> oh man. <laughs> Above it all, gosh, stop it. Above it all, she told me to be confident in myself. And she told me to believe in what I was doing. She goes, if you tell me this is authentically you, then be authentically you. Don't be somebody else. Just because somebody doesn't like the way you present in this, that is their problem, it's not yours. Right? Don't don't change your truth to, in order to satisfy somebody else's truth. Profound stuff, right? And it, it it really number one moved me. Number two, it 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 centered me, and it gave me that that encouragement, that extra push I needed to co to continue. And not to say. There hasn't been situations where, you know, look, some squaddies did not like certain things or, 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 you know, a way I presented something or, or a stance I took about something. And I know I've lost subscribers because of it. And I think when you get um, lost in why am I doing this? Because, look, as content creator, we get stuff from YouTube saying, you should do this, you should do that. And I started to like watch content creators that, that were like, oh, if you do this, you're gonna get this and da, 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 da. And that's a whole different hole to go under. And then when I, I started to read more stuff and I was like, okay, okay, so I need to do this more. The, the, the thumbnail needs to do like this and this needs to be. And I was just losing myself um, in trying to um, complacer, um, what's the word in English? Um, to please, to please other people's truth rather than mine. And Joan absolutely helped me in, 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 in saying, hey, 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 don't lose yourself. Remember, you are good just, just who you are. You are good enough. And it's amazing when you don't think you need to hear those things anymore, but damn, you need to hear them. And they, they just they just bring you back to center. And Joan has been that anchor for me in many ways. And um, I owe it all to that first email when she reached out and just said, welcome. I thank you so very much, Joan, for everything you've done, for every advice you've given me. Um, for everything you've done, you to, you've, you've advised me to read. Um, thank you. It's absolutely made a difference. Um, maybe <laughs> not completely in the channel, <laughs> but for me, it's made a difference for me and how I see the work I do and the content that I create. Happy birthday. I hope you've had an extraordinary one. And I hope God continues to bless you with all the good things that you deserve. Happy birthday. <laughs>
and thank you so very much. And another birthday celebration that happened yesterday, that's um, Princess Lilibet's godfather, the one and only Mr. Tyler Perry. I, 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 I love this guy. Like he, you know, I, I admire anyone who have with their God-given talent and, and, and dreams and perseverance um, continue to pave a path to success and then make sure that they've kept the door open and help to raise and bring others along with them and look I think in the docuseries Harry and Megan when he said the irony of it all here is a black man rescuing the white um, prince of England <laughs> or prince of the UK and he was again one of those God sent at the time in that moment just absolutely fantastic. Um, the chair for others and your generosity just like shines. Sure, um, Megan Markle recently said that you reached out to her yeah. and said, come, you know, you can live in my home. Yeah, it's a very difficult time for them. And what I know about the two of them, and I wish the world knew how much they love each other. These two people love each other. They found each other in the, out of all these odds against them finding each other, they found each other. And the love that they had. We'll call and we'll really, chat, really we'll talk about silly things. things. And yeah. they were pretty serious on the phone. I go, okay, what's going on? And I said, well, we'd like for you to be Louis' godfather. I go, well, I had to take a minute to take that in. And I thought I'd be honored. I'd absolutely be honored. And I got off the phone, took it all in, then I called him back. I go, uh, hold on a second. Does this mean we gotta go over there and do all of that in the in the church with them and figure all that out? Because I don't want to do that. Maybe we can do a little private ceremony here and let that be that. And and if you have to do it there, then it's okay. And then of course we have the man of the hour tomorrow is Prince Harry's birthday the big 4-0 and there seems to be a big hoop hop about it um, I, I, I don't think I've seen I don't even remember when Prince William turned th for, uh, 40 I honestly do not remember like anything at all and like they're commenting everywhere about um, Prince Harry's 40th, uh, 40th birthday. I think it's and, great. And the, the, the statement he made for the BBC, I thought was, was fantastic. And I was going to play some of that for you because I almost fell off my chair when um, I was like, did Jenny Bond just said what? And did that other one said what? Well, you know, you, 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 you still have the... the <laughs> the other ones that are just <laughs> I you know I feel sorry for them because they look awful just awful but yeah I was gonna talk about some more stuff but um, it's taking up a lot of time it's I, I'm having some issues with my mic so and I got another one and I'm trying to actually funnel the sound directly onto the laptop and hopefully that will that's gonna work better I'm not sure anyways I'll probably touch on stuff tomorrow so what what I'll do I'll give you now oh, I should have had all this other stuff prepared though you know what no I'm just gonna let it go and I'll give you a preview of something I'm working on I'm working on a bit of a series um, to maybe the first one I'll just drop it tomorrow yeah, maybe I'll do that. 
All right, folks. Thank you so very much. This was short, quick, and um, happy birthday to all, all, all of you who have birthdays this weekend or this month. Happy birthday! And listen, doesn't matter the age. The important is that the importance is that you are able to say, "Yeah, another year," because you know the alternative, as most of us know, is something different. And I was going to tell you folks a story that you know this week has been a little bit a little bit challenging because uh, one of my friends is in is in is in hospital. I mean, in the hospital. And um, yeah, listen. And appreciate every moment, every moment, every day. I can't say it enough to people. I know life gets challenging sometimes. It does, but just put things into perspective. Take a deep breath and. Um, Okay, happy birthday, everyone. And take care of yourselves. Ciao, ciao. All right, so I thought a little fib there. I just remembered that I wanted to just speak briefly about Prince William. I don't know what's going on, but I, I think something is going on with that guy. I, 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 I really don't know. Look, the, the, the beard thing, I don't care. He wants to grow one, grow it. He wants to keep it on, keep it on. He wants to take it off, take it off. I don't care. I, I, I know, for example, like I look like a terrorist if I grow a beard, which I, which I had tried once and I was stopped at every airport. I was, I was traveling at a time and I was double checked, triple checked every check that was possible for them to give me as I departed every airport I was at, they did. And I was like, okay, this facial hair has got to go. So if he needs it in order to, for him to feel a certain way, by all the means, his weight loss though, something about it is not sitting right with me. I don't know what it is. I can't put my hand or finger on it. But the other day, Sorry, not the other day. Yes, yesterday, as I was l looking at these um, uh, pictures and I was watching the video, and I, you know, who I thought of, if anyone who's watched Queen Charlotte, a Bridgeton story, you know, the young King, King George, when that psychopath was treating him for his um, disorder and was doing all this stuff to him because I, I honestly think he was a sadist. It's like almost like, I know this is going to sound weird and I'm not saying this is what's happening. Listen, I have a very vivid imagination. It's almost like I feel like he, like he's getting therapy or something and they're giving him electroshock or something. Like I don't know, like, like something doesn't sit right. Do you folks remember when that whole thing with, with Catherine was, was happening and he showed up. Well, we all remember when he showed up kind of wasted. Right. And, and he dropped the, the metal thing. Um, and another time he showed up and it was like bruises around his neck. I, what is going on? And the whole thing also with that person that, um, you know, on alive themselves, right? And you know, a, a shotgun was found next to them, but they didn't do this, and it was a blow to the and all this stuff. Like we don't hear about that anymore. No one says p about it. Something is not right, and I go back again to that injury that he got when he was younger with the, the, the golf club to his forehead, to his head. Like I, I, I did a podcast on, on that. Like I went and did, did some research to find out like, are they, is are there ramifications? And they say, especially when the person's that young, because I think he was what 11 or 12 or something like that when it happened. Um, 
they, they usually will not be able to tell uh, until they observe behavior. That's why I was trying to understand, like when they say he gets angry really quickly or whatever. I was like, maybe it has something to do with that injury. And I don't know. I, I just, something tells me that a lot of this stuff interconnects, but I'm not him. I'm not his therapist. I'm not his medical um, practitioner. I am no one. I'm just making fantastical suppositions here. It it, it just seems a, a really odd. Like his, 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 his face looks everything like he's he's just gotten super skinny and it's not like work out i'm getting like fit skinny it looks like he's just not eating or i don't i don't know i don't know i'm not gonna <sighs> okay i guess i'll stop it here because that is just concerning i i was just like hmm something is not right something is not right Oh boy. It's itinerary for his upcoming trip to New York will include the Clinton Global Initiative 2024. Former President Bill Clinton, former Secretary Hillary Clinton, and Clinton Foundation Vice Chair Chelsea Clinton announced on September. here to Angola in order to assist the Red Cross in its campaign to ban once and for all anti-personal landmines. It is my sincere hope that by working together in the next few days we shall focus world attention on this vital but until now largely neglected issue. In January of 1997 the landmines were the furthest thing from our brains. We were getting ready for the inauguration of Bill Clinton's second term. We were wrapped up in our own domestic politics. Then all of a sudden, every channel, all the news in the United States, and it was Princess Diana. Do you have any reaction to that? But yeah, I'm only trying to highlight a problem that's going on all around the world. That's all. I think there's no doubt at all that uh, the advice that Diana Princess Wells has been given uh, is naive and lacking. I think that there are certain areas that uh, her people don't fully understand, and that's the difference, for example, between anti-personnel mines and anti-tank mines. If she'd been better briefed, she could have actually... Pay me like a picture, like you want me to look. When you come forward, I'll glance and I'll give you, I'll give you whatever you want. Play me a picture of what you need. And I 